Online Business Mastery. Video number five, setting up your online business, deciding on a name, registration, and web hosting. This tutorial is all about setting up your website and making it look and function like a professional online business. Let's go through each step in great detail. A. Deciding on a decent name for your online business. So here's the method that can help you to avoid the naming labyrinth and picking the perfect name for your business. Step number one, brainstorming a list of names. Once you're confident you know a good name, you need to come up with a few keywords to get you started. Open up Bust a Name, the best tool there is for brainstorming domain names, and enter in your initial keyword ideas. Add into initial keyword list. Once you have initial keywords on the board, you'll want to expand on those ideas to come up with synonyms, similar keywords. Step number two, narrow it down to a few decent names. Bust a name will save you a huge amount of time by only showing you name combinations with available domain names. All you have to do is scroll through and pick one you like. Step three, find out which one is perfect. A, B test possible business names to find out exactly how much more or less receptive my target audience would be with each name. B, registering your domain, web hosting, and WordPress. In order to get your website up and running, you need three things. Number one, a domain name. Number two, web hosting. Number three, content management system. You can get all three of these things up and running in a matter of minutes using a web hosting company. So, how do you get started? Which CMS is best for you? An overwhelming majority of websites use WordPress. The other two options that lag way behind in comparison to WordPress, certainly in popularity, are Joomla and Duopal. WordPress has a great number of points that can be made in favor of its use. Choose the right website name, domain, and hosting. You can literally register any available, not registered yet, domain name. Just take care of the following. Number one, business website. It would be best to choose a domain name that is your company name or brand. Number two, personal website. If it's going to be your personal website, it would be great to go with .com. Number three, Hobby website. The sky's the limit. Hosting. You really have two options when it comes to hosting provider types recommended for WordPress newbies. Number one, shared hosting. Number two, manage WordPress hosting. Use shared hosting. Use shared hosting, a great place to start out for most websites as it's both economical and easy to use. Purchase the service that best suits your needs and keep an eye out for name cheap emails with further information. Connect your domain and hosting. To accomplish this, you will assign your name cheap name servers to your domain. Refer to the step-by-step -step procedure outlined by your hosting website provider to accomplish this. Accessing your cPanel. Once you have created your hosting account, you will receive an email with your personal cPanel web address, URL, username, and password. The cPanel is your dashboard for your hosting account. Here you can view your bandwidth and disk space usage, create subdomains, manage web email, use FTP to transfer files to and from your site, access databases, and install content management systems like WordPress or other software on your website. Install WordPress using Softicalicious app. Here are a few steps you'll want to follow. Number one, logging into your cPanel and locate the Softicalicious app installer. You will see an option within Softicalicious to install WordPress. Number two, Assuming you want your URL to be yourwebsite.com, you can leave the in directory field empty. Number three, set your WordPress username and password here. These should be different from your cPanel login or your Namecheap account. Be sure to write these down and keep them safe. Log into WordPress 
and choose a theme. Number one, go to your site address, the address specified in the directory, and add WP admin. Example, http colon slash slash yourdomain.com slash WP dash admin. When you log in, you should see your WordPress dashboard. Once you're logged in, you can install a theme by navigating in your dashboard to the left-hand column and choosing Appearance Themes. You've officially installed WordPress, which means that you have yourself a working website. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.